Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about solving quadratic equation by completing the square and then later on we will find the roots. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So let's start with number 1, x squared plus 4x minus 21 equals 0. So the first thing that we need to do class is we need to transpose this constant from left to right of this equal sign. And then once we transfer an equation from this equal sign, you always change the sign. Okay, so we need to transpose this one because we will be adding a new constant. So this will be the case, x squared plus 4x. Then we will add a new constant plus this new constant equals, so we transpose this 21. This is negative, it will be positive 21. And then we will be adding another new constant. Now what number that we will add on this equation is the same number that we will add on the right side. Okay, so how, what is that number, sir? How do we get that number? We do have the formula. That would be b over 2 quantity squared. So our b class is 4. Do you still remember the equation, the standard form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, in which our b is beside x. So therefore, our b is 4. So substitute, b is 4, so 4 over 2 quantity squared, so b is 4, 4 divided by 2, that would be 2, then squared, so 2 squared plus, it means that you multiply 2 by itself twice, so 2 times 2 is 4, so therefore, we will add 4 on this equation on the left side, and we also add 4 on the right side, alright, so next step is we need to make this perfect square trinomial into square of binomial. Once again, class, when you do the completing the square, your answer on the left side of this equal sign, this one, is what we call a perfect square trinomial, in which we can make it into square binomial easily by just getting the square root of the first term. So get the square root of x squared, that would be x, and the square root of the last term, the square root of 4, that would be 2, and then copy the sign of the middle term, positive, then you put quantity, and then squared. That's it. That's the answer for this one class, the square of binomial. Even if we check this one, x plus 2 quantity squared, it means that we multiply x plus 2 by itself twice. Let's check this if we get the same answer for this one. So x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 2. Do you still remember the FOIL method class? First, outer, inner, last. Let's try that. FOIL first, outer, inner, last. First, x times x, that would be x squared, okay, outer, x times positive 2, that's positive 2x, inner, 2 times x, that's positive 2x, so we're done with outer, inner, last, positive 2 times positive 2, that's positive 4, then combine like terms, this will be x squared plus 4x plus 4, you will get the same answer plus, so it will be quite long, Okay, if you do the factoring, if you want to factor this out, this will be the factors, x plus 2 quantity squared, but it will take time if you do it that way. So always remember this one. Once you answer the square, once you, okay, once you do the completing the square, your answer on the left side of the equation is a perfect square trinomial in which you can make it into square binomial easily by just getting the square root of the first term, which is x, the square root of the last term, which is square root of 4, which is 2, and then simply copy the sign to the middle term, then you put parenthesis, then squared. And then equals, so 21 plus 4, this will be 25. Alright, we're almost done. So next, we need to extract square root both sides so that we can cancel this too. So extract square root both sides. Alright, so this will be cancel this out. And this will be x plus 2. And the square root of 25, that would be positive, then negative 5. So, positive, negative 5. And then, next is we need to equate this one. So, we need to separate the positive 5 and then the negative 5. So, this will be x plus 2. Let's start with equals positive 5. The other one is x plus 2 equals negative 5. Then, find the value of x sub 1. We transpose 2. From left to right, so this will be x equals 5. This is positive 2. It will be negative 2. So x sub 1, 
our x sub 1 equals 5 minus 2, that would be 3. Alright, that's the first answer. x sub 1 is 3. The other one, x equals, copy negative 5. We transpose 2 from left to right. Okay, transpose this one. This is positive. It will be negative. So, x equals negative 5 minus 2. That's negative 7. Negative and negative, simply copy negative sign, then add. Alright, that's that would be your answer class for number 1. So, you pause the video. I will be erasing this one. Okay. So, let's try number 2. So, x, x squared minus 2x equals 3. So, check class. The constant 3 is already... It is already on the right side of this equal sign. So, a while ago, for number 1, we transpose 21 from left to right because 21 is on the left side of this equal sign. Now, since 3 is already on the right side, so the thing that we will do is we'll, we will be just adding a new constant. So, this will be x squared minus 2x plus a new constant equals 3 plus this new constant. Alright, so that's the thing there. Next, is we will be adding a new constant, we need to use the formula. There would be b over 2 quantity squared. So our b is beside x. So our b is negative 2. So negative 2 divided by 2 quantity squared. So this is negative 2 divided by 2. That's negative 1 quantity squared equals. So negative 2. Negative 1 squared, it means that you multiply negative 1 by itself twice. So, negative 1 times negative 1, that's positive 1. So, therefore, we will add 1 here on the left side. And we also add 1 on the right side. Okay, this is 3 plus 1. Alright, so next step is we need to make this perfect square trinomial into square of binomial. So, once again, simply get the square root of the first term, square root of x squared, that is x, then square root of 1, square root of 1 plus is 1, and you copy the sign of the middle term, minus. Okay, so this will be x minus 1. Then you put parenthesis, or quantity, then squared. That's it, class. So, once again, square root of the first term, square root of x squared is x, square root of 1 is 1, then you copy the sign of the middle term, which is 1. Then you put parenthesis or quantity, then squared. Equals 3 plus 1 is 4. Alright, so we're almost done. Easy for number 1 and 2, right? So we're almost done. This will be... Okay, this will be struct squared both sides so that we can cancel this too. So extract squared, cancel this out. So the remaining will be... X minus 1 equals the square root of 4... That's positive, negative 2. Alright, so and then you equate this one. You have positive 2 and then negative, negative 2. This will be x minus 1 equals, you start with positive 2, 2. x minus 1 equals negative 2. So once again, x minus 1 equals positive 2. x minus 1 equals then negative 2. So next step class is we need to we need to transpose this one negative one from left to right so that we can isolate x. The remaining will be x and also this negative one. So this will be x equals this is positive two two minus oh no sorry this is negative one. Once you transpose it will be positive two plus one. So x sub one equals two plus one that is three. So this will be our first answer. Next will be x equals, so copy negative 2, transpose this one, this is negative 1, it will be positive 1. Then, combine this one, negative 2 plus 1, if the signs are not the same, subtract, then copy the sign of the larger number. So, this will be negative 1. Alright, so our answer is 3, and for x sub 1 and x sub 2 is negative 1. So, you try to answer this one, class number 3. Okay, you try to answer this one, and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Feel free to write your com your answers class in the comment section down below. If you have some questions, do not hesitate to ask. Do leave a comment. Okay, do leave a comment 
because I will be answering that. So once again, now what if class, if the number, once again, if the number of, of A before X squared is just 1, of course, understood that there's 1 here. So if the number of A is just 1, so you will do it this way. Okay, this is the thing that you will do. Now, what if we have an example like this one class? 3x squared plus 4x minus 15 equals 0. So this will be quite tricky, but do not be worried. I already have a video for this one. So feel free to see the video class. I will just put the link on the description down below with regards to this one on how to answer if the value of a is greater than 1. It's not equal to 1. So feel free to see that video class. It's very important for you to know this one because there are some cases that the equations will be more complicated. Alright, so I will just put a link on the description down below on how to answer this one. So once again, do not forget to answer number 3 and you put your answer in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates class so that we can help more people and more students. Once again, you have a great day. Bye-bye!